What's up YouTube? Hey! Um, if you found this video, it's because you're looking for some info on Agnes and Dora, and I am pretty excited to give you that information. So my name is Kelly, and I just today, April 4th, 2016, um, finalized my paperwork and put in my payment to become an Agnes and Dora rep. And I am super excited about this collection, um, this company, the clothing, and especially the opportunity um, that is ahead with this business. So Agnes and Dora is a direct sales type of um, clothing company. Um, they offer a beautiful variety of prints in buttery, buttery soft leggings, which I absolutely love and I'm very much addicted to. Um, we also order, offer maxi skirts and midi skirts with pockets and dresses with pockets and great little prints and um, awesome price points. And um, I'm especially excited, like I said, about the fact that this is a huge new opportunity. There are less than 250 um, consultants with Agnes and Dora right now, um, which is huge, which is huge, which is small, a small number of consultants and a huge, huge opportunity for those of you who are um, familiar with how direct sales works. Um, currently, Agnes and Dora um, has a rep referrals, um, uh, let's say bonus that you can receive. So say um, you watching this video decide you want to sign up with Agnes and Dora and you contact me, Kelly Galapo, um, and you sign with me, I can receive bonuses um, off of your purchases just like if someone were to sign under you you could receive bonuses off of their purchases. Now, it isn't a true MLM yet. Um, they are currently in the process of creating a compensation plan, which will allow for true team building and lots of, um, lots of ways to make residual income, which is what I love so much about direct sales. Uh, this is my third direct sales company. I was a Stella and Dot presenter. I mean, um, Stella and Dot stylist, uh, still love their jewelry and their um, scarves and other accessories, bags and things like that. Um, and then while I was a, while I was a Stella and Dot presenter, I signed up with Unique, the 3D fiber mascara, which um, I love and I am still a presenter for. And that business sort of blew up. I got into that business right in the hyper growth and was able to build a great little group of girls or a great nice sized group of girls, over 129 women at this point who have signed up with me or under women who have signed up with me. Um, and it's been a wonderful journey, but now my kids are getting older and I'm ready for something bigger. And um, so I am starting my own little Agnes and Dora boutique. I will be running um, a boutique hours out of my home. I will be doing pop-up shops. So if you're in the New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania area, um, please contact me because I will travel because guess what? There are so few reps. Um, you're gonna need me to come. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I was very intentional with choosing this company. I had actually been on the Q Club for LuLaRoe. Um, when I first started looking at LuLaRoe, there were about 1,500 reps, which I thought was still a good opportunity, so compare that to 250 reps. Um, but as I've been on the Q Club waitlist for um, LuLaRoe, I feel like it's um, it's grown. It's grown fast. Um, the the buy-in options are, um, I believe, not as flexible as Agnes and Dora. Uh, the the buy-in options for Agnes and Dora are very manageable, especially for somebody who's serious about a business. Um, and what are some of the other things? So I feel as though the Agnes and Dora styles are more wearable than LuLaRoe. I do love LuLaRoe's product. Don't get me wrong, LuLaRoe is what gave me this itch to, to, to get into a business like this. 
but when I compared apples to apples, I was much more drawn to Agnes and Dora. Um, the prints are more wearable, um, a less less um, less out there, you know. And, and pl plenty of people want to wear pieces of slices of cake on their leggings, um, but I'm not one. I I like more. Um, houndstooth and um, Aztec and um, like fleur-de-lis like things like that there are different more classic prints although some are a little bit more wild tie-dyes and flowers and all kinds of cool fun ones um, but I felt personally especially as a woman in my 30s that the styles for Agnes and Dora were a little bit more wearable um, you also get great control over your inventory. Um, with LuLaRoe, you're getting mystery boxes. Um, you can choose your styles, but you cannot choose your prints. Um, with Agnes and Dora, your initial order is going to be a mix of what you know they currently have available. And then from that point forward, you are able to custom customize your collection and your items that you wanna sell. Um, do you know uh, you can figure out what's popular in your area and you can just be more um, involved in your inventory let's just say that okay which I love I, I need to have a little bit more control the mystery boxes are kind of exciting but it's hard to build a business when people are looking for specific things and you just don't know ever when you're going to get them um, <clears throat> I the price point um, uh, it's comparable to LuLaRoe. We're, we're a few dollars cheaper on most items, but you know, what's a couple of dollars really? So I would say we're, we're comparable to slightly cheaper. Um, and one of the huge things for me was because Agnes and Dora um, has items and they name their item, like they name their prints, um, whereas LuLaRoe doesn't do that, when you receive a box of products from LuLaRoe of, of pieces, you have to take pictures of every single product or every single piece in order to be able to do online parties where, how time consuming. Oh, it just was daunting to me. It just scared me as for, I'm a mom, I have three kids, my husband has his own business and I want to spend my time with income producing activities and I'm not, I, I just don't want to be sitting around taking photographs for three days and trying to do all that. So um, th that was a huge time commitment that scared me with um, with the other business and I, I think that Agnes and Dora is definitely going to um, allow me to focus my, my attention on other, like I said, income producing activities. Um, the comp plan is in the works now. Um, and this is a huge, what I like to, like to consider a ground floor opportunity. Listen, with direct sales, you're never going to just wake up and make money. But if you can get in at the right time, um, I definitely believe that there is something to be said about growth possibilities. Um, so if you're interested in hearing more about my Agnes and Dora business and ask me any questions, I'm happy to answer questions. And um, I'm gonna put my link, my email, um, and I'll put my Facebook group link in case you wanna shop. And uh, that's it. So I'm gonna be posting some more videos over the next few weeks. Today's April 4th, 2016. I should be having, I should have my inventory by early May in the next four weeks. Yeah, it's so exciting. All right, so watch out for some more videos so you can see some of the Agnes and Dora in, in, uh, in person. Oh, and you can check out the Agnes and Dora website. You won't see all the products or all the styles there. You'll only see select styles there because the consultants buy and then they have the stock and that's really where you're gonna get the majority of the um, the styles, the prints, and things like that. So um, you can check out agnesandora.com, but don't think that that's all that is there is to offer because there the consultants have lots and lots of things. So get in touch. Let's do this. I'm so excited. <laughs>